Hi, my name is Adam and I'm the maker of the Vaz Saver. And I just want to take a few minutes to tell you about the Vaz Saver, its origin and the problem that it solves. Some quick information, some background about me. I've been in the automotive industry in a technical capacity for a little over 16 years now. And in my spare time, I like to tinker around with electronics and 3D printing and various other things. And it's in that capacity that I actually ended up fixing a number of the VAS uh, dongles from failed USB ports and then subsequently came up with the VAS saver in order to prevent the damage from occurring. So let's go to the bench and I'll tell you a little bit more about the origins and the problem that the uh, VAS saver solves. So if you've used these and of course if you've seen this failure, you know what it is. Uh, but basically the USB port is prone to being uh, ripped off the PCB substrate. Uh, oftentimes when that happens, it takes the pads that the port uh, is soldered to with it, making repair either impossible or uh, difficult. The way I would repair these in the past is if the pads were still viable and still there, if, it was, uh, if I was able to actually solder a new connector on there, then I would do just that. I would solder a new USB port on there. But again, like I said, nine times out of 10, the pads or the traces would be damaged and uh, you would not be able to solder on a new connector. And in any case, you would be left with a, the, the same, uh, in my opinion, poorly designed, poor, poorly implemented USB connector. So what I started to do actually was uh, trace out alternate points to make the data and power connections uh, for a uh, USB uh, cable, a pigtail, just like uh, on the VAS saver. And I would permanently uh, solder on a pigtail uh, to provide the connection. And that's sort of the, uh, the origin of the VAS saver. Uh, I was trying to think of ways to prevent the problem from happening in the first place. Uh, obviously with a permanently installed cable, first off, uh, that would be difficult to do uh, in a large scale. And then you're left with if the cable is ever damaged or if the connector ever wears out, which is likely to happen because the, the, these USB uh, connectors aren't really made to be for high cycle usage, a lot of connecting and disconnecting cycles. Uh, you'd have to take the dongle apart, desolder the old pigtail and solder on a new one. So that's why I came up with the VAS Saver, which is a 3D printed cover that snaps and then screws in place and holds in place a pigtail, which is completely replaceable. So it just moves the connection point for either the wireless module or USB cable away from the fragile uh, port on the VAS itself. And the pigtail is fully replaceable um, and easily replaceable. It just takes a, a couple of minutes. You would remove the screws from the back you'd pop the cover off and unplug the old one and plug your new pigtail in. So that's a little bit about the VAS saver and its origin and the problem that it solves. Again, if you have any questions about the VAS saver, um, feel free to reach out to me, adam at adamslab.io, and I will be happy to answer any questions. Thanks.